Hi everyone, so I'm here to share with you my butternut squash and red lentil soup. It is super easy and it does make a really good portion. So the first thing you want to do is get a whole butternut squash, um, do the usual, cut the ends off, and then I usually get a peeler, completely peel it, So once it's peeled, make sure you cut it in half um, and then obviously de-seed it. Once the seeds are gone, you want to dice it up into nice chunky cubes and throw that in your slow cooker pot. So I then go on to dice up one large white onion and then throw that on top of your butternut. So garlic is optional, you could add garlic salt, I used three uh, cloves of garlic, it really gives it a lovely flavour, but again it is optional. So I'm using the red split lentils, these are great for soups and stews, um, they take no time at all to cook, I use a cup and maybe just over a cup and add that in. So I then add in some seasonings, I add in some pink salt some pepper and then I throw in two teaspoons of smoked paprika which really um, makes it really tasty and smoky flavoured. So onto the stock because it's pretty much done. This is the last step. Um, I'm using a vegetable stock by Calo um, and this sort of jug has like the cup measurements up the side. I use about three and a half to four cups of boiling water. Dissolve your vegetable stock and just throw that into the slow cooker pan. So give it all a really, really good mix. And then all you need to do is pop that on in your slow cooker, put the lid on, and I pretty much set it to low all day and it should be obviously nice and tender when it's all cooked. So for blending your soup up, I'm actually using one of the Breville um, hand blenders here. Um, I've had this since Alastair was weaning, I've had it a long time. You could throw it all into a blender, it's totally up to you, but this is a super speedy and less messy way of doing it, I think. Um, and then for like decanting it into something, I use glass jars. These ones are from HomeSense. They were only £2.99 and I love the fact they're kind of in this sort of milk bottle shape. So they're pourable, so you can just pour the soup out. So it makes life so much easier. And I just use a funnel just to um, get it into the jar with like kind of mess free. And that is pretty much that. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed this recipe. Let me know if you give it a go and I will catch up with you very soon.